Students look at agriculture from the standpoint of slavery. Their enslaved ancestors, that is all they were able to do. And they see it as hard labor. They see it as manual labor. They don't think that it's for them. If you go back to our land grant missions that came from the Morrell Act in 1862, it wasn't designed for our black students at historically white institutions. There's not enough information about agriculture and all the many different fields that there are. And people have literally moved off of farms and they live in suburban and urban areas with our demographics changing so, so quickly and with agriculture not having enough qualified graduates to fulfill all the jobs it has to offer. There's a real disconnect. One of the biggest issues that we have in America right now is food deserts and food insecurity. This idea of not having enough qualified graduates of color to be able to meet the needs of the people in their own communities. What we have to do as 1862s is number one, partner with 1890s and look at what they're doing in terms of targeted enrollment. I'm looking at programs, not just of recruitment, but of retention. When students come to a university and they're, they're one or they are two or even 99 out of 1400, that is just not enough for our students to feel like they have a place and that they have belong and that they have a voice. The opportunity to work with a student organization like Manners, where their whole goal is to make sure that students of all kinds, of all colors, get the opportunity to have access to the agricultural industry. My early access program was just that. It was to connect with their cohort, to connect with our college. And then lastly, we connect with the community so that Knoxville, uh, would feel like home. I think you have to serve students in a more holistic way because what's important to them is not just about what they do, but who they are. My grandfather was a tobacco farmer, so we had pigs and chickens and, you know, chickens would arrive in the mail, you know, we picked our apples off the tree and, and, and all of our fruits and vegetables were grown right there. And there was future farmers. I made a, a bookshelf and shop. You know, these are things that I could take on my whole life. That's what I'm excited about doing in my role uh, in terms of diversity, equity, inclusion, how to make our students not just feel welcome, but make them know that they not only belong, that our programs were designed for them.